good evening students today i am starting the new chapter sense organs we learned the nervous system in our last as the last chapter in that we learned that our nervous system enable us to uh, or keep us in form about our surrounding nervous system it's it perceive all the information through the sense organs sense organs we learned from the lower classes uh, mainly five sense organs are there in our body eyes ears tongue nose and skin that we learned from the primary classes but there are other senses also that are the balance of the body if we uh, walk through an uneven surface we may we can feel how our body suffer to keep its balance then again body movement if we play on a swing we can feel that movement then again hunger it is also a sensation if we didn't get uh, food for long time we can feel this sensation then the thirst when we uh, we cannot drink for uh, for a long time we can uh, feel the dryness in the mouth that is the thirst then pain also uh, these are uh, pain you can sense through the skin so these are also other sense these are uh, many uh, nerve ending sensations are uh, perceived through particular sensory cell so they are the receptors they are sense organs are the receptors of different kinds of sensation then there are mechano receptors are there for the touch or the pressure of the skin due to mechanical change if we uh, uh, or uh, we when we go to a swimming pool we can uh, uh, sense the pressure on uh, through our skin they are in the skin such receptors are there the chemo receptors are there that are the uh, substances that chemical substances in each uh, each substance we can sense through the nose as well as our tongue that that substance we can sense then photoreceptors photo meaning light photoreceptors are present in the rod and cone cell of our eye rod and cone cell that you will learn uh, soon in the uh, when we learn about the eye then thermoreceptors are there heat and cold receptors are there in the skin then phonoreceptor phono meaning sound that is uh, present in the eye our brain can uh, make us informed about different kinds of uh, sound then again the eyes eyes is protected in in a deep socket that are present in the front side of our head that is in a, in the skull we can see uh, small sockets are there is a hollow region in front of our skull they they are known as the orbit in which the eyes are protected then uh, each eye is in the form of a ball and can be rotated with the help of six muscles are there six muscle for each eye to rotate it to different direction then eyes again can be protected by the eyelids it is also movable eyelids upper and lower eyelids we have uh, then again eyelids have eyelashes so on it it also prevent the falling of different particles uh, that may happen to fall into the eye eyelashes eyelids that are giving protection then another structure above the eye it is not a part of the eye it is also for protection eyebrows that is prevent the rain drops or 
ദ ട്രിക്ലിംഗ് പെർസ്പിരേഷൻ പെർസ്പിരേഷൻ വിയർപ്പ് നെറ്റിൽ നിന്ന് കണ്ണിനേക്ക് വീഴാതെ ഐബ്രോസും ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ക്യാൻ പ്രിവെൻറ്റ് ദ ഫോളിങ് ഓഫ് ഡസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ ഓൾസോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് പ്രിവെൻറ്റിങ് ദ ഡസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ ഓൾസോ ദെൻ എഗെയിൻ ഇൻ ദ ഐ ദർ ആർ അനദർ സ്ട്രക്ചർ നോൺ ആസ് ദ ടിയർ ഗ്ലാൻഡ് ഓർ ദ ലാക്രിമൽ ഗ്ലാൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ഇറ്റ്സ് പൊസിഷൻ സംടൈംസ് റൈറ്റ് ദ ഇൻ ദ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ബോർഡ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ an expected question once it was asked and i valued that uh, answer then its correct position at the upper side word portion on the upper side that are the wrong answer up, upper side word portion of the i that that uh, portion of the orbit that its correct uh, position location the upper if you write to the upper the word upper Uh, that is not uh, enough upper side word portion that is the correct location of the tear gland tear gland or lacrimal gland you can see then again it has 6 to 12 ducts of the gland pour or secrete over the front surface of the eye you know that the lacrimal gland it is always pouring the tears in uh, to the surface of the eye so that it is always getting lubricated as well as the lacrimal gland it can uh, it contain the lysosome the enzyme in inside the lysosome it is secreting through it so it can kill the germs that are uh, trying to attack the surface of the eye so that the eye we can move because of the lubrication that it give eye eyes can be move very fast as well as it is clearing or removing all the dust particle from the surface of the eye then another mm, uh, structure you can see is the lacrimal uh, naso lacrimal duct you can see that is 